Hey, flamingos. So we thought we had misplaced the Timeless Tom Thomas book. So we got a little inventive and downloaded it as an ebook, but then we found it. So here it is. We're so glad. Anyway, uh, today we're going to talk about this guy, Thomas Edison, and he was most famous for inventing the incandescent light bulb. Remember the light bulb is the symbol thing for an idea, right? Just like on the front of your, of your sketchbook here. So let's go through Thomas, T Timeless Thomas, how Thomas Edison changed our lives forever. And it's by Jean Beretta. We'll go through it just like we did the other books. Won't read it, but we'll just look at the pictures and talk. <clears throat> so this was Thomas Edison when he was a little guy. Maybe he was a little younger or older, right about your age, and he liked experimenting. He liked growing plants and examining bugs, and he liked using tools and experimenting with simple machines, like this is a ramp, right? Uh, and, and making different concoctions and potions. And so when he got older, he decided that he was going to establish a laboratory. And remember we talked about a laboratory being a place where people go and test things out and experiment different, different things that they're going to try to make into inventions or maybe they're going to make a medicine to make people who are sick feel better. Or maybe they're going to uh, look under a microscope, look at something under a microscope like the inside of a bug's intestines. I bet Stella likes that because I know you really like bugs. Um, so he made the laboratory in Menlo Park, New Jersey. Uh, he also made, do you guys remember what this is? This is the phonograph. Um, and it does something that we're doing right now, record your voice, right? So uh, right now we talk into a microphone or we talk into a phone and it records our voice and it can play it back. So maybe what would be really cool is if you all posted a recording of yourself onto the Google Classroom. That would be awesome. Um, and so anyway, Thomas Edison invented the phonograph uh, where you could sing, Mary had a little lamb, and then turn a crank, turn a crank, and it would play Mary had a little lamb back. The phonograph, a voice recorder. Uh, and then uh, phon phonographs became the Edaphone, which he, he put his name right on that phonograph, uh, and people started to use it to record songs and play them back. And he also invented something that we use every day, and I bet you guys are using a lot, it a lot right now, the telephone transmitter. So remember, we talked about one part of the telephone receiving the sound. See my thumb wiggling? That's where I receive the sound and I hear it through my ear. Well, you transmit the sound by speaking into the transmitter. And my pinky is the transmitter of my pretend phone right here where I'm speaking into and it's transmitting my voice to somebody else's receiver so they can hear it. So Thomas Edison discovered the telephone, or he, he created the telephone transmitter. He also created this electric pen. The electric pen was something that Lewis Carroll used to write Alice, Alice in Wonderland. Um, and so this was the, was the basis for today's photocopier. Remember we went into the, to the resource room at school. We all went in there, our whole flamingo class went into the tiny resource room and looked at the photocopier where you put a page on the, on the top and it, it copies the image and prints it out. He also created the lithium ion battery and he had some really cool ideas as to what the battery could power, right? So right now your mom and dad, they plug their phone in at night so it will charge because it has a battery inside. So batteries are important because they power things when they're not connected to power, right? And we're gonna talk more about power with our inventions. Um, so, he also had an idea for a battery powered car. And now you'll see more and more of those. Uh, there's a Nissan Leaf that's a battery powered car. And there's also the Tesla car, which is a battery powered car. And instead of using gas, going to the gas station and filling them up with gasoline, you go to your power outlet at home and plug your car in and charge it, which is pretty cool. He also invented 
the vending machine. Remember we talked about, I think I think Bo had said at Hill Country Indoor, there's a machine that, that has snacks inside of it. And Thomas Edison um, came up with the idea that people who didn't have a whole lot of money could go to places and put coins in and then there would be uh, drawers with fruit and vegetables and other healthy foods that would open up and they could, they could get their food that way. So that was the basis for today's vending machine. He also came up with the idea for a voting machine. And uh, we just had an election where we went and we, and some of you guys went with your parents to vote and you saw your parents push the buttons in the voting machine and then uh, printed out a big long sheet uh, that's called a ballot, right? So Thomas Edison was, was the person who came up with the idea for the voting machine. He also came up with the idea for a fluoroscope x-ray machine. Right, right. When you have broken bones, you go get an x-ray to see where it's broken so the doctor can help it heal. He also came up with the idea for a movie studio. Remember we talked about Leonardo da Vinci's idea to, uh, to, to look into a box where the movie played, right? Uh, well, Thomas Edison expanded on that and he created the idea for a, a movie studio that, that are where movies are made today. Right, we, we watch movies, we go to the movie theater and we watch them on the big screen, right? Uh, so this is his kinetoscope and that's the machine where people look into the kinetoscope right here, this big box, and they can see a movie playing inside. Yep, and so uh, the kinetophone was the first projector to show movies with sound. So do you see this? This is the projector like we talked about uh, in our classroom, right above the whiteboard, it takes whatever we have on the computer and it projects it onto the whiteboard. Uh, and so this is a movie projector and it takes the movie and it projects the image of the movie here. And the Kineta phone projects the sound so we can hear it. Thomas Edison also came up with the process to make cement that we use for our sidewalks. He came up with the idea that you take out uh, certain certain things with a magnet and and uh, it, it processes all of the rock and it grinds it all up so we can make it into cement. Thomas Edison also came up with the idea for the telegraph. So today we text each other, mommies and daddies text each other uh, and they send their messages through their phones, right? So Thomas Edison, we talked about here, this is called a telegraph and you tap the messages in the telegraph and a long time ago, those messages would travel across these phone lines and they would get to, to, the, to the person with the telegraph on the other side. He also uh, discovered that radio waves transmit radio signals and we can hear songs in our car with the radio. Uh, what the, the most important invention that Thomas Edison discovered or created was the incandescent light bulb, right? So we talked about how in our, our houses, we use light every single day. We flip the switch and we turn the light on. Uh, but there wasn't always electricity, right? There wasn't always light, light bulbs, right? Thomas Edison had to invent it first. So before he did, people used candles. To, and, and fire to see. But when he created the, the, the light bulb, electricity was able to be used to power these lights and people could turn on their lights to see. So remember, Thomas Edison made the first power station and he connected, the, the power station is where the power is created, the power is made or generated at the power station. And uh, it travels through these these uh these lines right to all of the buildings and the houses that need power so we have power because of the power station that's near us and that was thomas edison's idea so these were all of the ideas that we talked about that thomas edison invented uh, the most important is the light bulb right the symbol for an idea uh, so in your sketchbook you have the thomas edison's inventions page and this was Libby's so she was finishing it up and I know now she's finished it because I saw great work Libby uh, so she wrote the light bulb the telephone transmitter the movie studio and I forget the other one that I saw that she 
she filled in there. But for those of you who haven't done it, you write Thomas Edison's inventions and then light bulb and illustrate your light bulb, telephone transmitter and illustrate the, the transmitter, the movie studio, and then pick another one, maybe the phonograph, uh, maybe the kinetoscope, um, and then illustrate that there. Okay, and then uh, next we're gonna talk about our last inventor in history, uh, Albert Einstein. Thanks guys.